Hey, you guys. Girl, this is going to be a chit chat all over the place. I know you got thinking, Vivian, what else is new? Mind your business. That's what's new. Y'all got an attitude problem. Hmm. <laughs> Organizing some of this hair stuff on my girl. See, who been back here in my stuff? Ain't nobody been back here. Girl, what is that? Oh, y'all have to excuse the sun rays. Let me put the thing on me. So, yeah, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because I have a feeling JB's going to come in here in about 30 minutes. I don't want this video to be about 30 minutes long. Let me take this off some. I still got these wooden beads in. But, y'all, they started falling out. Like, I could hear them. I was somewhere oh the other day was swim lessons with jb and i can hear them falling on the bleachers jb started laughing i'm like what the hell what in the seven deadly sins is going on here so yeah they're yeah see that just slipped off um hair is still looking good now my at my scalp is itchy so i'm gonna have to put some more oil on my scalp and massage it in girl maybe some tea tree i'll put a little bit of tea tree oil in my oil mixture and massage it in um i have a list of things here that i want to discuss but y'all i have an idea for my birthday first of all i don't have any plans for my birthday I don't. I'm turning 41 August 11th. Shout out to the Leos. Um, but I don't have any plans for my birthday. But I do have an idea as far as a video. Like I want to vlog the entire week. Because I think it's a blessing to be able to celebrate your birthday. And I am one of those annoying ass people that celebrate their birthday all month long. All month long. I buy myself presents. I let everyone know it's my birthday. How you doing girl? It's my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> no, but so this is the idea I have for a video on my birthday week. So I'm thinking about doing like queen, um, queen look, queen makeup look at authentic. But I guess my point is, is that I want to do three looks, three, three queen status looks. Okay. But I want to be careful because I don't want to offend anyone. So I don't want it to come off as, oh, this is me being an, an Egyptian or this me, me being a Habasha or excuse me, me being a, a um, Ethiopian, know what I'm so, saying. Let me know what y'all think. But anyway, girl, let's get into this chit chat. Y'all know how we do. We talk about what's going on in my personal life. We talking about what I'm watching on YouTube. And we're gonna talk about why these ratchet ass birds are in front of my window flying around crazy. <laughs> we're gonna talk about what I'm watching on TV, which is a lot. So you guys, um, speaking of Ethiopian, I had went to an Ethiopian spy shop. They know me up in there because yeah, they know they know me because I've been going there for like six years. So I need to go tell this child to be quiet. So anyway, um, I know the owner, I know the children and all them. The children are, are are a little bit younger than me. So um so I go there to get the injera to get the flatbread because I'm I made the food two weeks ago, right? And I guess he was getting the um owner was getting a another you know, order coming in. He's like, Hey, you know, I'm gonna be outside taking care of this order, you know, take your time and just let me know when you're ready. I'm like, You gonna leave me here? Girl, why he do that? Why he do that? So <laughs> So while I was there, I was just looking around. <coughs> And this is a place that's um, in, in here in Phoenix. I was looking around, and sure enough, girl, I saw the Dabor Vatica or Dabor Vatica products. And girl, I saw both of them the black seed oil. And he has natural hair, the owner's. Um, oh, yeah, he was telling me how he also uses these products and how they're really good for his hair. I'm like, good for you. So, anyway, y'all, I purchased the black seed shampoo. And this is a fairly large jar. This is 13 ounces. And I also got the black seed conditioner. Okay, so yes, I will be reviewing those. In the meantime, um, I have the wild cactus deep conditioner. Can y'all see that? Yeah, wild cactus deep conditioner. And I have the tropical coconut. And Arian, you were right, girl. Coconut really isn't in this product. There's something that's coconut me, but coconut oil isn't in this product um also picked up some fenugreek seeds because i'm gonna get back on my fenugreek oil kick yeah i got some fenugreek seeds and um i was looking through my cabinet y'all and i found fenugreek powder i 
forgot all about this. So I think I'm gonna make a hair paste and I will be capturing that on cam too. Okay, so y'all, what again going on in the personal life or whatever? Girl, what is going on? Oh, girl, yes, the color is looking better now, actually. Y'all, let me get into this. So, personal life is going well. My husband is off all week. And he's been in a good mood, you guys. I think he's been in a good mood because I've been in a good mood. And he knows that I am excited about moving back to Texas. And so we were looking at houses um, last or well, yesterday, just all week really, looking at houses. And Heath, like I said, Forney, Charlie even started to look at houses, houses in Tyler. And ironically, I called one of my classmates from Longview yesterday and she's like, y'all should move to Tyler. That's actually some nice communities uh, that they're starting to build out there. I, girl, I don't want to live in Tyler. I really don't. I know I, I have a couple of y'all that live out in East Texas. I don't want to live in Tyler. Fight me in the comments. Tell me why I should live in Tyler. <laughs> I want to live <clears throat> in Forney. Um, I don't know. We're still open. We I, I can still look around. Um, so yeah, I've been looking at the houses, girl, my, uh, my things that I have to have in a house, y'all, I have to have a kitchen that is open. I need to have cabinet space. I need that because the one room that I spend the most time in is in my kitchen. Um, we need to have four bedrooms and, uh, I don't really care about backyard size and all that because we're actually going to keep the pool here. I'm going to go ahead and take the... My husband's like, we need to sell the trampoline. Everyone has a trampoline out here. Honestly, a lot of people have trampolines. <clears throat> so we're going to take the trampoline because the backyard would be a good size. Um, So yeah, just, you know, going through and talking about it and, you know, what we plan on doing. But I, I need to really have a discussion. I'm trying not to really bother him about it. I need to have a discussion with my husband. What are his goals? I know that he wants to invest and get into investment opportunities. What type of investment? You know, you you gonna be able to street pharmacist? Like, what are you trying to do? <laughs> y'all, that's going on. Let's talk about some of this stuff, y'all. Porsche and Tank. I know, two totally different spectrums. Unfortunately, y'all, if you follow the R&B singer Tank, you know that he's had some health conditions or health issues to come up in the past. Has it been a couple of months now? Um, he was apparently going deaf in both ears, had vertigo, and I feel for him. He's, he's visited at ENT, and I saw a little bit of the last clip that he posted on Instagram, and he was getting his ears cleaned out, and the vertigo is subsided. Y'all have no idea how you have it. Let me back up. I have several different issues that you know, affected my ears, um, tinnitus, and vertigo that I get every now and then. So I go to the ENT to get my ears cleaned out. A couple of years ago, I had BPPV, and that's basically where I had crystals that were loose in my ear, and I had horrible vertigo for like two weeks straight, and that's not the first time I've had vertigo. Um, the specialist or whoever tilted my head back on this table, she jerked my head around and she said my eyes were moving like this. That's how they knew I had BPPV. But once she took my head and adjusted my neck and all of that, that broke up the crit cri that broke up the crystals and my vertigo vertigo went away. Then recently, like last year, I started getting tinnitus in one ear and then would go over to the next. Um, went to the ENT. She cleaned my ears. Still had it. Started smoking weed. For multiple reasons, anxiety, but ironically, the tinnitus went away too. Isn't that amazing? So I haven't had any issues with my ears since. But back to Tank. Tank apparently was losing his hearing. I don't know if his hearing has came back. And as a singer, you gotta have your your hearing, y'all. And then he was getting tinnitus. In, and I'm sorry, he was getting vertigo. And vertigo is horrible to have. So prayers out to him. Yeah, Portia. Mm -hmm. Those of you who follow the Real Household, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the fraud went on slip. I really did. I didn't mean to say that. The Real Housewives. That is rude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bleep that out. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. <clears throat> Portia Williams, who was on the cast, and y'all, mind you, I haven't seen one episode of this since like season the one where Claudia was on there, and um. 
and Nene had that horrible blonde wig. Yeah, that's the last time. That's I stopped watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta back then because it doesn't make any sense for 40 plus year old women to be on TV acting this acting plump for wives. Girl, why is it zooming in? Isn't this the first? Is this the first time that someone has stolen? I don't even want to say stolen. Is this the first time that another housewife has literally gotten with another housewife's ex? This is this is just girl cold broken. Ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. Nothing good is gonna come out of this. A part of me feels like she's doing this for a storyline. Not that I think she really needed it. But again, I don't watch the show, so I'm not sure. But I don't know, y'all. I think it's a little I think Portia I want I don't say that I lost our respect for her, but I'm not surprised by this. I'm I'm really not by this type of behavior. So girl, hot ass mess. Um what else is going on? I'm I'm gaining a little bit more weight. Hey, hey, the thing. Come on, yeah. So I'm gonna take the next seven weeks to really, 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 y'all. I know I keep saying this. So I don't eat breakfast. I skip breakfast. So now for breakfast, I'm gonna make sure that I have fruit, um, drink a lot more water. And yeah, I'm gonna give myself seven weeks, six, seven weeks to really, really kick it into gear and get back to working out. JB, they can hear that too. Turn it down. Get back to working out, um, consistently working out, okay? Just so I can feel better and, you know, have a little bit more energy. What else is going on? child girl what is all up with all these people acting crazy on the planes y'all like it's see we already know people were crazy but it seems like there's more and more people just acting a plum full look i'm not getting on nobody's plane we probably won't even get on a plane to next year when we visit texas to look at some of these houses i'm not getting on nobody's plane anytime soon so people don't want to wear their mask people or all those people that do wear their masks and they're still just acting crazy on the planes and from what i understand now the airlines is going to be what is it basically going to be what do you call it like a fine you're getting fined if you're acting crazy on, on the plane like thousands of dollars if you want to show your ass on the plane which i don't blame them it's very disruptive because a lot of the times look when you're doing that you're holding up the plane you're holding up flights and that has an effect on other flights i don't think people realize that maybe they do and they just don't care so girl it is what it is so yeah people acting crazy on the planes look i want to say this too before we start talking about what i've been watching on youtube and all this i want to say this things are slowly going back to normal we see that praise god i honestly um the numbers are slowly going down one, don't get comfortable. Don't get too comfortable, y'all. Two, it is okay to still not be okay. Some of you may see, you know, you know people who are out traveling, people are, you know, going on about their lives, and you're still not okay. That's okay. I'm here to tell you it is okay to still not be okay. Because trust and believe, I still have my moments where I'm like, I feel like I'm living in a alternate reality is this real world yeah is this, is this our life right now yes it is so just just wanted to say that you're not alone okay so y'all what i'm watching on youtube girl nothing i'm really not watching hardly anything um i was watching some of ashley miller's reviews uh she's the light skin girl did she live in atlanta in atlanta i'm not sure y'all um girl looking at gordon <laughs> gordon ramsay um, Kitchen Nightmares. I like to look at some of the old episodes of Kitchen Nightmares. Girl, these restaurants are disgusting. Um, but yeah, I'm not really watching a lot of hair stuff and all that. Um, I do need to call my girl Angel, aka Nezzy Naps. Um, she wants to collab. Hopefully on, on, we have some ideas. I still am going to do the collab. Uh, I'm going to put Busby in one of my videos. Um, I'm going to do, girl, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, sis. I'm going to do the Flexi Rod set. I'm going to use her video, How to Get the Best Flexi Rod set. I'm going to embed that in my video. Um, and she knows all about it. Um, all about it, excuse me. And she was giving me tips. I'm like, girl, she gave me tips like six months ago, and I still haven't done the video. <laughs> what well, I'm watching on TV. Girl, everything. So, back to watching Good Girls. Look, 
I'm starting over with season one of Good Girls. Good Girls is good. Good Girls is on Netflix and Hulu if you don't have it. Handmaid's Tale, kind of slowing down. Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm feeling this season, y'all. But maybe it, I will say this season is not as traumatic as the other seasons and episodes have been. And I know it's a bit much if you can't get into it. And it is. It's a bit much. Um, Dirty John season two. And they are... Uh, going into the story of Betty Broderick. Girl, when I tell you Betty was a piece of work, Betty Broderick is a house mom who unfortunately murdered her ex-husband Dan and his wife, his new wife, Linda. Now y'all, there's been so many shows and movies and little Lifetime movies done about this case. And I think the reason why it is such an interesting story is because Betty seems Betty came off as a normal housewife and she snapped. She snapped. Now, there's been people that say, you know, they deserved it because apparently they dragged it. Dan was a what was he a lawyer and a doctor? And Betty actually put helped to put him through school both both times. So 10 years. Um, they had four children, actually five. One was, was, um, one child died, um, for a living. Dan actually wrote out, I think her name is Lee, one of the children out of the will. That's cold. That's cold. I understand you got problems with your wife, your ex-wife, but to leave out your, one of your children out of the will is cold. Apparently the girl had drug problems and all that. Um, so the the family is split on how they even think about betty two of the children are on her side two of them are on the father's side but y'all we don't know what what happens you know there's everyone's making assumptions and but the only people who really knew what happened is dan who unfortunately isn't with us and betty who is still in prison she went to prison she's out in california when she i think 1989 is when the murders happened she was in her 40s. She is 70 something years old. She is up for parole again. She'll be like 84 years old. And from what I understand, she shows no, she is cold y'all. She shows no remorse for killing that man and his, his wife. Dan, in my opinion, was a classic narcissistic um, but I think that Betty was also a sociopath from what I understand and reading, you know, documents and even reading people who are apparently friends with, with Dan and Betty, Dan had a lot of friends in California, a lot of friends. And they basically, a lot of lawyer friends, um, they wouldn't even help her. Even her own family, like turned up, like one of her friends I saw posted on, on, YouTube, one of the friends said that she never even met Betty's um, parents and she was really surprised by that. Like they were almost like ghosts. Betty rarely talked about them. And y'all see, yeah, like I said, you never know what's going on. Child, I was thinking about writing Miss Betty, you know, and talking. <laughs> I got her, I got her uh, prison information, child. I'm like, she's cold though, y'all. She's um, she's, she snapped, you know, so I'm watching that and it's really good. I'm watching that on, is it on yeah. Netflix? Dirty Junk season two. Started to watch you y'all and I tried, I tried. I, I'm on episode two. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I really can't. You again is also on Netflix. Girl, I rewatched one of my favorite, favorite movies. Um, by Quentin Tarantino, Jackie Brown. I love Jackie Brown. I love me some Pam Grill. She was cold in that movie, y'all. She was in her 40s when she was in that movie. She looked damn good. Um, and Sam Jacks Jackson and the um, older white man that played um, the, what do you call it? The Bellas Bondsman, uh, is his name Robert Foster? He passed away, I believe, in 2019, bless his heart. Um, I believe his last uh, movie was like a fantasy-like movie. Um, another oldie but goodie movie I watched was was Single White Female with Bridget Fonda. Child, 
I have not like this is one of those movies that I haven't seen as a grown woman. That chick was crazy. <laughs> Beyond crazy. Like cray cray. I don't even know why. Why didn't Bridget Fonda kick her out when she noticed that something was wrong? She should have kicked her out like after two months. But good movie, really, really good movie. Bridget Fonda doesn't make any movies and she doesn't have to. She comes from an acting family. They have the money. But she doesn't make movies anymore. I wonder why. But anyway. Um the conjuring part three the devil made me do it let me tell you something we started watching the first we started watching it after the first i literally was clutching jb i was so scared y'all i like scary movies but i don't, I don't want to be that scared and especially when it comes to demonic possession and all that so the conjuring the devil made me do it again is based off of a true story spoilers it starts off with the um, exorcism of a child, which is very dangerous to do in my opinion. Um, poltergeists and spirits like to grab on to children because, because children are open. And some children have everything open. They even have their third eye open. That's a whole nother discussion. They have a lot of things open. They're open. They haven't really been tainted. So they're easier to get to. You know what I mean? My child has even said that he, he used to see shadows. You know, he's very, he's an impact like me. He can feel things. He could, when we walked over, I'm going to get back to it. When we walked over to her, over here to this neighborhood where the husband killed his entire family, JB said that it felt like ice. He said like he said that he felt dry ice on his neck. I can feel it too. You can feel the evilness. You can feel something almost how do you explain it? Almost like fog. Like fog, right, JB? It's almost like fog. That's what it feels like. It feels like a uh and it, it was my back. It was your back. But and for me it was fog. Anyway, back to the conjuring girl. I know I get off subject. The conjuring there was an exorcism performed on a child that, <clears throat> y'all know the couple that does all that stuff. And while they were there, the boyfriend of the, the little, the little boy had a sister and her boyfriend was there. And apparently the boyfriend ended up killing someone like a couple of months later, like less than six months later, he ended up murdering someone. And according to him, he was possessed. Something, something latched onto him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so Lorraine and her husband said that, yeah, he possibly did get possessed. And even the uh, girl, the guy is out now, y'all. He did, did his time and he was released from murdering his, um, what do you call it? They were living in a house and, oh, God, y'all, I'm all over the place. The person who owns the house, basically. he That's who he murdered. But anyway. The girlfriend said that absolutely she believed that he was also possessed but now his family said no nah, he wasn't possessed they're just doing this for monies and coins or whatever but baby y'all have to know there is a spirit 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 world out there no matter what you believe it in um the spirit world is is real and it can be dangerous if you're not careful so that's what we watched child we also started watching which jay was i want to go to the good world today child anyway child we even started to watch the beginning of the of labyrinth when david bowie came <laughs> david bowie flew into that girl's bedroom jb was like no mm -mm. <laughs> so we stopped watching it so y'all that is it this is all over the place thank y'all so much for watching please be on the lookout i am going to be having more hair videos out there so that is it thank you so much for watching take care bye